Breaking tonight, disturbing new images of the unprecedented crisis along our southern border, where thousands of young children are surging across, many without any parents, and the U.S. basically doesn't know what to do with them. Congressman Henry Cuellar sharing these pictures with us from inside of a facility in South Texas. This is very rare, folks, because the Border Patrol has been told you are not allowed to photograph these folks anymore. They don't want these pictures getting out, but we got our hands on these. The children, as you can see, are packed into small rooms and fenced in pens while they wait to be processed, which can take days. In inst some instances, they are then putting them on Greyhound buses and shipping them to Arizona with nothing more than instructions to report back to officials in 15 days. President Obama calls this a humanitarian crisis. He's deployed federal resources to find these children, their families, while critics suggest it is the president and his immigration policies that created this crisis in the first place. Dennis Michael Lynch is a documentary filmmaker who traveled to Texas in the last 24 hours to get a firsthand look at just how bad the situation really is. And Dennis, I know you have been speaking with some of your friends and sources there, including Border Patrol folks. What are they telling you? Well, Megan, today I spent time speaking to both Border Patrol people and to citizens here of Texas. And the situation here is worse than I even thought it was when I was in your studio two days ago. Um, Everybody is upset about how these children are being treated. They were telling me today, today about how some of them are ending up in Houston and being used as sex slaves. All right. And they are up in arms about the fact that the president of the United States, is, his job is to protect American workers and to protect American lives. And he is not doing that whatsoever. And if I can tie this into your last segment, listening to all that going back and forth, here's another thing to scare the viewers, so to say. Mm. We are ignoring the 9-11 Commission report, and I have told you already that we know that Hezbollah and Hamas are working with the drug cartels. So while we have Border Patrol agents playing babysitter, we have people crossing over the border and nobody is apprehending them. That is a legitimate problem that's been documented in, in uh, many publications over the past couple of days, the fact that the Border Patrol agents are trying to manage what is a humanitarian, cri humanitarian crisis. Little children, in some instances, you know, children three, four years old, wandering over without parents, looking to us to help them. And, and what are they going to do? Of course, they're going to try to help take care of these children and not do their actual jobs because they don't have the time to do that right now. They're trying to save lives down there at the moment. And now, Dennis, you and I also talked about the possibility of health issues with all these children coming across they're being kept in pens at the moment uh, we're trying to take care of them as best we can but we're overwhelmed and indeed the reports now are coming out this is from um, uh, the, the National Border Patrol Council that says they're starting to see chicken pox they're seeing some with the MRSA virus they're starting to hear of measles they're trying to handle the immunizations but they are simply overwhelmed uh, Megan what about blood tests nobody's administering blood tests OK, the other thing here, too, is that when these uh, families are being given the come back in 15 days, they seriously think that that is a permit to live in the United States. Mm -hmm. They think it's a permit. They think it's their paperwork. And so now they're going throughout the United States and you'll see where are they going? They're packing into homes that already have 20 and 30 people in them. That's another health risk look that I've this. covered in my movies. Look before. at this little boy. But look at that little boy. I don't know if we can get his face back on the, on the screen because it's devastating. You look at these little children. He's, he's got a smile on his face. He has no idea what has happened to him, that his parents have apparently shipped him up to the United States of America because newspapers uh, down south like, like La Prensa are, are offering this type of information uh, to the locals down there. Uh, hold on, let's put it on the board. Look at this. This is what you would see in La Prensa in Central America. During their stay, in addition to accommodations and food, children receive English classes, play sports, and participate in targeted programs while immigration authorities contact their families. They make it sound like a day at the beach. And the United States is stuck dealing with this, and these poor children, whose parents apparently wanted a better life for them, Dennis, but it, th there's no plan, and there's no M procedure in place to handle them. But, 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 Megan, and here's the thing, you know, most of America is not seeing what it is that Fox viewers are seeing right now. Nobody else is covering this story like Fox, and especially you. And I know you never liked this sort of thing, but out of everybody I spoke to today, it was constantly, thank Megan for covering this. It's our only hope. Between, uh, honestly, the fact that you're covering this was one thing that where people were up about, and number two, they were ecstatic about what happened last night with Eric Cantor. 
Wow. I, they, they're saying, hey, listen, maybe this is the change that we've got to see in order for somebody to really start taking it seriously in D.C. The other thing, I, I, today I, I was with a woman, three generations she's had her construction business. Three generations. They're going out of business because of the competition that's coming in from over the border. Oh, I mean, just the, I mean, the children is where the focus is right now, and for, they are true victims. Uh, their parents will see. Yes. Dennis, thank you. Thank you. Well, the